to my channel NSP Learning Hub. Hello friends, today we study about meiosis, a mode of cell division forming four total cells in which the number of chromosomes is reduced to half. So it is called reduction division. Meiosis is discovered by von Bender in 1883. Meiosis takes place in reproductive cells. Gametes are formed as a result of meiosis. Meiosis is a very essential phenomena in the life cycle of sexually reproducing animals as it restores the fixed number of chromosomes in somatic cells and the characteristics of the species. It avoids multiplication of chromosomes and thus maintains the stability of the species. Stasis of meiosis Meiosis consists of two successive divisions meiosis first and meiosis second. During meiosis first, the number of chromosomes 2n is reduced to half n or haploid. It consists of prophase first, metaphase first, anaphase first and telophase first. Meiosis second is called equational division because it is similar to the mitosis. It consists of prophase second, metaphase second, anaphase second and telophase second. Meiosis first Meiosis first is initiated after the parental chromosomes have replicated to produce identical sister chromatids at the S shape. Meiosis involves pairing of homologous chromosomes and recombination between them. Prophase first. Prophase of the first meiotic division is typically longer and more complex than compared to prophase of mitosis. It has been further subdivided into the following five phases based on chromosomal behavior such as leptotene, gigotene, pachytene, diplotene and dikinensis. This is leptotene, gigotene, pachytene, diplotene, dikinensis and metaphase first stage. Leptotene stage. During leptotene stage, the chromosomes become gradually visible under the light microscope. The compaction of the chromosomes continue throughout leptotene. The chromosomes are thin, slender and long. Chromosomes number is diploid. Gigotene stage During gigotene stage, chromosomes start pairing together and this process of association is called synapsis. Such paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. The chromosomes become more shorter and thicker. Lepton micrograph of this stage indicate chromosome synapsis is accompanied by the formation of synaptonymal complex. The complex formed by pair of synapsed homologous chromosomes is called bivalent or tetrad. Pachytene stage this stage is characterized by the appearance of recombination nodules, the sister, the site at which crossing over occur between two non-sister chromatids of a homologous chromosomes. Crossing over is the exchange of genetic material between two homologous chromosomes. Crossing over is also an enzyme mediated process and enzyme involved is called recombinase. Crossing over leads the recombination of genetic material on the two chromosomes. Recombination between the homologous chromosomes is completed by the end of packeting, leaving the chromosomes linked at the site of crossing over. These are the homologous chromosomes. This picture is the crossing over between the sister chromatids of non-homologous chromosomes. And here the recombination is completed. Diplotene stage. The beginning of diplotene is recognized by the dissociation of synaptonymal complex and the tendency of re recombined chromosomes, homologous chromosomes of the bivalent to separate from each other, except at the site of crossovers. These except X-shaped structures are called chiaspata. In oocyst of some vertebrates, diplotene can last for months or years. Dikinensis The final stage of muting prophase first is dikinensis. 
This is marked by terminalization of the chiasmata. During this stage, the chromosomes are fully condensed and the meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosome for separation. By the end of diakinesis, the nucleolus disappear and the nuclear envelope also break down. Metaphase first. The bivalent chromosomes align of equilateral plate with their arms on the plate but the centromere is directed towards the opposite pole. The microtubules from the opposite poles of the spindle attach to the, to the pair of homologous chromosomes. Anaphase first. The homologous chromosomes separate while sister chromatids remain associated at the centromeres. Now the homologous chromosomes repel each other, move to the opposite poles with their chromatids. In this way, each pole gets half number of chromosomes of the parental cells. Telophase first. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear. Cytokinesis follows and this is called as dyad of the cells. Interkinesis. The stage between two meiotic divisions is called interkinesis and is generally short-lived. Interkinesis is followed by prophase second. It may be present or absent between meiosis first and meiosis second. It is similar to interface, except for the absence of the replication of DNA. These are the stages of meiosis, prophase first, metaphase first, anaphase first, and telophase first. Similarly, prophase second, metaphase second, anaphase second, and telophase second. Meiosis second. Meiosis second is initiated immediately after cytokinesis, usually before the chromosomes have fully elongated. In con contrast of meiosis first, meiosis second resemble a normal mitosis. Prophase second. The nuclear membrane disappears by the end of prophase second. The chromosomes again become compact. Metaphase second. At this stage, the chromosomes aligned at the equator and the microtubules from opposite poles of the spindle get attached to the kinetochores of sister chromatids. Anaphase second. It begins with the simultaneously splitting of the centromere of each chromosome which was holding the sister chromatids together and allowing them to move opposite pole of the cells. Telophase second. Meiosis end with telophase second, in which the two groups of chromosomes again once again get enclosed by the nuclear envelope. Cytokinesis. Cytokinesis follow, follows resulting in the formation of tetrad of cells for haploid daughter cells. Significance of meiosis. Meiosis is the mechanism by which conservation of species, specific chromosome number of each species is achieved across generations in sexually producing organisms. Meiosis has also increased the genetic variability in the population of organisms from one generation to the next. Variations are very important for the process of evolution. Gametes are formed as the result of meiosis. Each gamete possesses half number of chromosomes present in the somatic cells. It avoids the multiplication of chromosomes and thus maintain the stability and constant number of chromosomes of the species.